On May 19, 2007, the episode 42 for the TV series Doctor Who aired on BBC One. In this episode, the Doctor guesses a sequence of numbers, which he uses as a code to save a spaceship from hurtling into the sun. This comes as an amazing feat to everyone on the ship, but we can find his seemingly random sequence of numbers just by using some recreational mathematics. Happy numbers, sad numbers, and narcissistic numbers are all variations on a relatively easy pattern. This pattern doesn't have a name, so for simplicity's sake, let's call this process happification. Happification starts with any positive integer. Using the digits of the integer, each is squared, then the squares of each digit is summed. Taking the sum, this process starts again, squaring and adding each digit of the new number, and so on. Pretty simple, right? Happy numbers and unhappy numbers are defined by their behavior after happification. Happy numbers and unhappy numbers are defined by their behavior after happification. Happy numbers are numbers which, after repeated happification, break down to one. They're called happy numbers because one is the first natural number, and all numbers are happy to get to break down to that special base. For example, take 13. The digits of 13, 1, and 3, when squared and summed, equal 10. After another level of happification, it equals 1. Other happy numbers include 7, 10, 19, 23, 28, 44, 31, 32, and 49 under 50, and Doctor Who's code, the four numbers 313, 331, 367, and 379. A neat trick for finding happy numbers is to switch the digits around or to add a zero because the sum of the squares will be the same. For example, take 31 and 13. For the digits of 31, we have 3 squared plus 1 squared, which is just the reverse of 13, which is 1 squared plus 3 squared. By adding a zero or a zero squared, we can make more happy numbers because they don't change the sum either. So using 13, we know not only is 13 a happy number, but so are numbers such as 310, 13,000, 3,100, and more. Unhappy numbers include, incidentally, every number that isn't a happy number. These numbers have a very special property. When they're happified, instead of breaking down to one, they form a series of numbers that repeats over and over. For example, if we happify 4, we get 4 squared, or 16. Happifying 16, we get 1 squared plus 6 squared, or 37. Continuing this pattern, we get 83, 73, 58, 87, 145, 42, 20, which when happified gives us 2 squared, or 4, bringing us back to the beginning. Narcissistic numbers follow a slightly different process of happification. Instead of squaring each digit in happification, each digit is raised to the number of digits in the number. For example, 153 has three digits, so each of those digits are raised to the power of three. Narcissistic numbers are characterized by their tendency to be in love with themselves, or to directly return to itself after happification. Let's try 153. Well, 1 to the third plus 5 to the third plus 3 to the third is 1 plus 125 plus 27. Adding those, we find the sum is 153. These patterns aren't really useful to applied mathematics, but they're a lot of fun to play with. It just goes to show that math isn't just calculations, complex equations, and sticky concepts. It can also just be fun and games.